Whitefly is one of our most significant pests, probably one of the biggest pests next to thrips in the ornamental greenhouse industry. Um, one of the biggest issues is because we have both B and Q biotypes and the Q biotype is quite resistant to all the chemical classes that we have. So um, when you're talking about a pest that's resistant to all the chemical tools we have, it makes it a significant problem. Yeah, white fly affect um, uh, many different crops in our ornamental industry, specifically poinsettia. We get them in on cuttings every year, um, imported from Florida and California, and that's how we get those um, two different biotypes coming in, both the B and the Q. And then it's also uh, can be an issue in longer term crops, so things like mandevilla that have quite a long growing period or um, cut gerbera that are in the pots for you know up to three years. Um, when you've got a, a long-term crop like that where you sort of get no respite from your white fly pressure, that's when growers can really struggle with these pests. I would say proper identification is key to your white fly control. Um, I've seen growers who have unfortunately had their white fly misidentified sometime in the past or their population has shifted over time and they've spent months, literally, uh, spraying chemicals that don't work and paying for biocontrol agents that aren't doing their job. So um, proper identification is, is literally your first step because all steps after that can fail if you don't have um, the species correctly identified. Um, and it's something you can either do yourself uh, with a microscope or a hand lens or if you have a regular pest management consultant, I'm sure they'd be happy to come in and take some samples throughout your greenhouse or even bringing samples to me um, at the, the Vineland Campus to ID is, is a great way to go about that and just get that definitive answer so you know where to go um, in terms of pest control after that. Unfortunately, we are losing some pesticide registrations and Bemisia has both B and Q biotype that can be resistant to a lot of different chemicals, but we do have a lot of different biocontrol agents at our disposal. Things from predatory mites to predatory beetles to different kinds of parasitic wasps. Um, if you use all of these together, you can get a really good comprehensive control program for white fly going in your greenhouse. One thing we've learned is that you have to delay your sprays as long as possible once you get your poinsettia cuttings in because if you have a high percentage of Q, if you start with pesticides right away, you're just going to select for more of that Q biotype that's resistant to pesticides. If you give them a little bit of a break, two to three generations, which is about um, if you give them from uh, from July 1st when your cuttings come in to the end of August without spray, your population is going to shift towards that B biotype that's more amenable to pesticide applications. So keeping that in mind will really uh, let you be able to tackle your white fly effectively.